Good evening, Bulldogs fans. Welcome to the post-game show after the Black Falls Bulldogs defeat the Bonneville Pontiacs 4-1, ending the Pontiac's four-game winning streak, and now Bulldogs are on a three-game winning streak themselves to start 2024. Kale Clark here joined with the goaltender, number 33, Wilson Maxfield. Wilson, what an incredible game from your point of view as you uh, save 26 of 27 shots faced. I believe is the number. I might be wrong, might be off by one, but uh, what did you uh, see so well out there tonight? Uh, I think our D were just pretty shut down. They, uh, they, they might have had 27 shots, but I think a lot was from the outside and we boxed out well. And then even when there was loose pucks up front, they cleared them pretty well. So I thought it was a pretty easy night for me and good on our team end tonight. Yeah, some big saves made by yourself. But talk about that big penalty kill. It was a five-minute major power play for Bonneville, and the Bulldogs just shut things down defensively, like you were mentioning. Uh, you know, how happy were you with the defense in front of you? But also, you made the saves when you needed to. Yeah, that uh, five-minute uh, PK was pretty huge. Our PK was unreal there. And then uh, also at the end on the six-on-five, Terry blocking a few shots. Uh, I think everyone bought in tonight, and that's why we won. Now there's that one play where I remember you were scrambled on your side and you just laid on your stomach for a while there and, and luckily uh, no pucks went over you. You actually, they actually end up getting it right in your glove. Uh, you know, what did you see on that play and how did you keep it out? Yeah, it was just a weird play. I was a little off balance there, fell onto my back and then the puck squirted out to the side and I was just kind of doing anything I could to uh, keep it out there. Three straight starts for you, and uh, what does that mean to you that, you know, now the coaching staff putting some trust in you and, and giving you that green light to start on a night-to-night -night basis? Uh, yeah, it's big. Uh, it's nice to get those three wins in a row, and I just hope to keep it going here. Okay, you guys are on the road now. Drayton Valley, uh, I believe, is the next opponent that you will face on the road. Uh, what do you guys got to do? Uh, you know, road has not been maybe your strong suit this year, but what do you guys need to do carrying over from this game into Drayton Valley? Uh, just buy in. We got we got to keep that consistency going. I think three straight is good, but uh, four would be even better. So I think just keep going here, and uh, yeah, the drums should be good. There you have it, Wilson Maxfield. Continuing on with the post-game show here as the Black Falls Bulldogs defeat the Bonneville Pontiacs 4-1. to one. Pleased to be joined alongside post-game Doug Quinn. Doug, uh, big defense uh, coming through for you here in tonight's game. Wilson Maxfield also shutting the door when he needed to. Uh, how happy with, were you with the overall performance? Um, well, overall, I was happy. Yeah. Um, you know, we started a little bit slow, and I think that... Uh, we were probably a little bit surprised how fast it came out. Um, I guess they hadn't played since Friday, so they're pretty fresh. Where, you know, this is our third game in in four days, so it took us a while to get kind of adjusted to the speed. But um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Maxville, he played great in that. Um, probably one of his best games that he played this year for us. Uh, um, but at the end, I was really happy with our penalty kill. That was a huge uh, kill. That five or that five-minute major um, at the start of the second period. I don't think we really gave them much, and and the way we locked it down, it might have been one of the, the the best that we've done this year. So overall, I was really happy with that game. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the Black Falls Bulldogs just continue to roll, and and they continue to roll against this Bonneville Pontiacs team. And I don't know what it is about Bonneville and the Bulldogs playing against each other, but the Bulldogs have Bonneville's number. That is five straight wins this year alone playing against Bonneville for the Bulldogs. But also their first, the Bonneville's first win coming to Black Falls wasn't until October 2021 was the last time. That was the first meeting between these two teams ever in franchise history. So what is it about this Bonneville team that Bulldogs seem to like so much and get such success off of? Well, honestly, they're, they're to me, they're one of the, the top teams in our league. I think they're one of the, the best coach teams. Uh, they have lots of skill, you know, but sometimes, uh, you know, um, sometimes that's hockey. Like, um, you know, two or three of those games, it easily could have gone the other way. Even tonight, um, you know, they they had a lot of opportunities and the game could have easily flipped. But, um, you know, we're happy that, you know, we won um, uh, the game tonight. And, yeah, um, but to me, they're still one of the top teams. and. Things can easily change on a, the next game if we ever meet them again. Now I got to ask tomorrow's trade deadline in the AJHL, and I'm sure a lot of fans at home are wondering if the Black Falls Bulldogs are going to be planning on making any moves. I know you probably can't speak to it uh, too soon just yet, but anything maybe in the works for the Black Falls Bulldogs just to finish uh, the pieces that are in the puzzle. 
Um, well, we're always looking to uh, make improvements to our team. Um, we have the deadlines coming, and you know we're working on a couple of things that uh, we hope to have finalized here uh, right away. But you know we're definitely trying to make our team better, and I think the the pieces that uh, um, that you know we're looking to close on are really going to help our team. So yeah, expecting the the rest of the season to be really good for us. Well, the Bulldogs go on the road now and will face Drayton Valley. Uh, what is needed to carry over from this game into Drayton Valley on the road where the Bulldogs have struggled a little bit? Well, sometimes, uh, you know, there's never an easy game in this league. And to me, um, any team can beat any other on a given night. And, you know, we need to come out and play. And if we come out and play, then, you know, then we have a good opportunity. You know, if we don't, then, you know, they've beaten us already this year. So... Yeah, we'll have to be ready. Good stuff. Well, we wish you all the best on the road, but uh, the next home game for the Black Falls Bulldogs will be a week from today. Hockey Hookie Day. It's a weird one. It's going to be starting at 12 o'clock against the Sherwood Park Crusaders. Doug, we appreciate the time as always.